this is the inside of a 300 series auto mower. This one is a uh, this one's a straight 315, uh, not a 315x, but a 315x, uh, 310, and this 315, even the 315x anniversary edition. They're all going to look the same inside here. You're going to have this brown cable right here. That's when it comes out through the bottom. That connects to your charging plates on your top cover. And that wire comes back through both these. Go into a plug and a plug into your main board right there. Then right next to that, that's the plug for your battery. And the battery is located right here in between your two wheel motors. And this is the old style battery. The new ones have the, uh, the box style, the encapsulated battery in them. Then next to your battery plug, you have the wheel motor for, this would be the left side wheel motor right here. And in the center between the two wheel motor plugs, you have the plug for your cutting disc. Well, that right in there to your, your cutting motor. And over here, as I said, this is another wheel motor plug right here. That's the one for the wheel motor on this side. And this one here, this wire goes down here to your, kind of tough to see. This one goes down here to your, your main power switch right there. And then you have this little thin ribbon cable right here. This winds the whole way around to the front and goes to your loop sensor in the front of the mower. Now, if you're familiar with how these things work, they have the loop sensor up here in the front. They also have loop sensors in the back. That's these little black boxes are here in either corner of your motherboard. And if you didn't know, this big circuit board back here, this is your motherboard. So, pretty simple. This is your height adjusting mechanism. If you put the, uh, put the knob on there, it probably looks more familiar to you. So that's it there. You can see it's just, uh, you know, got a... A spring right there to keep the tension on everything and it's just all mechanical on the 300 series so pretty simple inside not very intimidating at all uh, and this lower half really basic really easy to find everything the main board mounts in here a little bit different than it does on the 400 and 500 series because you have these these plastic pieces right here that are actually part of the motherboard where you put the screws in it doesn't have those little um those little black pieces like this that clip onto the edge of the main board. Like you, that's what you'd have in the, uh, the 405, 500 series right there, that little black piece. So I really like that style better. Uh, I think it holds it a little bit better. And, um, I think these are just a, it's a beefier piece right there. I, I like that. It's a little bit stronger, but that's just my opinion. So now that you saw that. And we'll show you the top uh, the top part, the upper chassis of the 300 series auto mower. Give you an idea what all is in there. Now here's what's inside the upper chassis on the 300 series auto mowers. You have this big ribbon cable right here that you have to unplug to be able to lift this upper chassis off of the lower chassis. And this end of the ribbon cable plugs right into your main board right here into this wide plug. And uh, this here, this is your automotive connect board slash GPS board. If you have a 310 or a 315 and you open it up from the factory, that's not going to be in there. On a 315X, you would have one of these in there. The 315X anniversary edition, you would have that in there. Um, because you're going to have GPS mowing and you're going to have automotive connect because those are X-line mowers. Now, this one is a regular 315. We put this in there, so we now have cellular connectivity. We don't have to just use the Bluetooth. We can use actual data. And we have we have GPS theft tracking. And on the app, we can go into the app there. We can see where the mower is mowing around in our, uh, our backyard and all that stuff. But when you install this in a 310 or a 315, it does not allow you to use the GPS mowing feature because that is something that the motherboard tells it it doesn't have the option to do. Same motherboard used in the 310, the 315, and the 315X, and the 315X Anniversary Edition, but they know what to do and what they're not allowed to do based on the serial number that the dealer enters into the board 
when they program them. So this mower knows that GPS mowing is not a feature. It has no way to recognize that feature in this board once that serial number is entered into it. So it's a plus if you want the, uh, the connectivity when you're far away from home and stuff to be able to track your mower, to be able to stop it, park it, whatever. You just don't have that ability to let the mower figure out on its own where it needs to mow, when it needs to mow, and all that stuff. So um, something to think about there if you were looking to add the uh, Auto Mower Connect feature to your 310 or your 315. Underneath that, we have the HMI board. It's labeled MMI, but in your, your parts breakdowns, you'll usually see it labeled as HMI. And this is actually the backside of your display screen. The display screen is a part of this HMI board. You can see this ribbon cable here with the green and, and gold. That is the ribbon cable for your keypad. This, of course, as we said, is your main ribbon cable. It connects to the, the motherboard. And this one here obviously goes to your Automower Connect board. And if you don't have Automower Connect in there, it's going to be a lot more open. And you're not going to have this ribbon cable plugged in there. The little plug right over here with the two wires, black and green, or I'm um, sorry, black and blue wires. That one here goes to the micro switch for your stop switch. So when you push the stop switch down, it tells the mower, hey, stop what you're doing. And bring up the little four square menu to put the pin code in. Up here in the front, you have one sensor for your lift and collision. This one kind of reads everything. Um, it comes around here with this orange wire, as you see, ties into the circuit board here, which is actually the circuit board for your, your magnet and your front nose sensor. This reads the, uh, or this senses that magnet and tells it if there's a, you know, some kind of a collision or anything like that. Um, if you've ever had that, uh, what's it called? Uh, collision active error message and you can't figure out what's going on and that magnet falls out of that magnet holder in the top cover. This is, this is the board that reads that magnet. That magnet's not just there you know, creating some kind of imaginary force field around the mower. It actually serves a pur purpose. And the polarity of that magnet is sensed by this board right here. And you see that ribbon cable coming out of that board goes back and is actually a part of our, our main ribbon cable that ties into the motherboard. Now that's different from the 400 and 500 series automowers, which had one of these sensors in this corner and in this corner in the front. And you would have your orange wires, and you would also have black wires coming out of there. And everything would go back and tie into the HMI board and go from the HMI board then down to your main board. So this is a little bit different setup. And again, you have less parts to go wrong or fail because you only have that one sensor up here rather than one in each corner up here and your um, collision sensors in the back like you have on the four and 500 series mowers. So the top part is really simple. You can see it's pretty basic. And of course, you know everything that's on the other side of it, your keypad and your um, your menu screen and everything. So not a whole lot to show you there. Now we'll get this out of the way and then we'll show you what's in the top cover. So here's a look underneath the upper um, cover on our 315. And you can see, I have it sitting on top of the lower chassis, and I have it sitting there for a reason. I'm going to show you here in a little bit. But um, anyway, on a 315 or a 310, it's really simple. You have this one plug right here, and this goes to your charging plates. Your charging plates um, actually are mounted underneath this black magnet holder right here, this plastic piece. There's one screw in the middle there on these that holds that in there. And I, I say this is a magnet holder because you can see right there, that cylinder right here, under here, that's a magnet, and that's the magnet that I was talking about that the um, circuit board and the nose of the mower reads um, that we just saw there in our upper chassis. It's inside the mower, up in the nose. Uh, it's the circuit board that the orange wires and that small ribbon cable connected into, just to give you an idea if you've never had one of these apart and don't really know what you're, what you're um, looking at. So in the 400 and 500 series, there was a uh, there was a bit of an issue with that magnet falling out, and people would get collision active error messages and couldn't figure out why. 
it was that magnet was missing and it was disrupting everything with the sensors and they actually changed the style of that magnet holder now on the 300 series as far as i know this is the only one that they've ever had they haven't had the issue with the magnets falling out as frequently as they did with the 4 and 500 series mower um <clears throat> I honestly have never replaced one of these in a 300 series mower. I mean, I've never had to replace one because the magnet fall, fell out, I should say. So just a little bit of encouragement there if uh, if you're worried about that after I've told you about the 400 and 500 series having the issues with it. Um, not a whole lot to fear if you have a 300 series. So you have this one plug and it has the grommet on it. You know, this, this goes into the, uh, the lower chassis. And this plugs into that brown wire that we showed you earlier in the lower chassis that goes back to the main board. And that's for, for charging your batteries. If you have a 315X or the uh, 315X Anniversary Edition, you would have LED headlights right here and here. And you could actually swap out this top cover if you wanted to. Uh, if you have a 310 or a 315 and put the one in there with the, uh, the ability to mount the headlights in there. Uh, it's going to be a little bit costly, but if you really wanted headlights, you could definitely do it. And then you would have another another wire and plug that would plug into the lower chassis. And the wires would run back through the lower chassis. And they would plug in right, uh, right down here into this white plug right here. And that's where your headlights would get the power from. So that's an option there if you really wanted to get into tinkering around with your automower and making some changes and stuff you could add automower connect you could add headlights if you wanted to if you have a 310 or a 315 and these would be some substantial upgrades now you see we have the three rubber grommets one here in the front one in the back one in the back this is what snaps the mower cover onto the automower chassis this goes over that um, lift collision sensor in the front and then these two snap over the ball ends on the uh, the dummy joysticks at the back corners of the automower. This area right here, this is where you would mount brushes in here back in this area um, to clean the, uh, the mud and the stuff out of the tread on the wheels. Um, if you put a, um, a terrain kit or something on there, that's usually something that that people do if they have areas where um, they need to get a little bit more traction. You put the brushes on there and it keeps the tread clean so you get better traction. Uh, you can also do that even if you have just the regular style wheels on there. It keeps the, the, the tread of your tires cleaned out so the mower's not slipping and spinning, you know, and getting caked full of wet grass clippings or mud or anything if it's mowing in wet conditions. So that's it. That's a pretty simple setup there with the, uh, the upper cover of a 300 series automower so you can see we have we have the lower chassis we have the upper chassis and top cover and that's your your three main components and um, the 300 series of automowers are pretty simple units uh, they're real easy to diagnose and work on because you're you're um, cut down on the uh, the amount of electronics in there because it has that manual height adjustment and it's just a, a simplified unit um like i said you only have that one sensor oh duh, getting tongue-tied here you only have that one sensor in the front in your upper chassis for your collision and your your lift unlike the 400 and 500 series mowers where you have the two of them so you have less going on up here in your upper chassis and in your lower chassis you have the manual height adjustment we're on a 400 and 500 series of automower that has the electric adjustment you have more wires coming through here because you have wires going to that height of cut motor you have a circuit board there for your height of cut you know to measure all that stuff and it's a little bit more congested in there so this is definitely a, an easier mower for anybody that wants to try to do some um some diy repairs or just to do the maintenance themselves, uh, you're going to have better luck. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to have better luck with one of these than you would with the 400 or 500 series because there's just less to get confused by. So that's it. That's the anatomy of a 300 series automower. Hope you uh, learned something from all this. If you're looking for parts or any more information on automowers, 
send us an email to robotic mower services at gmail.com and we'll help you out the best we can. Um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.